I'm constantly trying to figure out how do I help my people believe in themselves. If I can have even a moderate degree of success, there's no reason you can't either. Good morning, guys. And we'll start the day off here with a weigh in. 200.8. So I've been hovering around 199. 200 for the last three days, so that means it's time to uh, drop the hammer. I'm not getting stage shredded, but I definitely need to have a six pack, fully visible, and uh, I'm pretty flat right now, so I think we'll be all right. Um, you like my bathroom? Pink's my new favorite color. All right, let's go get some food. to bring in the heavy artillery guys with a newborn that's been pretty crazy but to be honest um we'll introduce it to him in a moment but um got a company called fit dish making my meals now they're a local company here these are my um, portion sizes seven ounces protein one cup veg one cup of um, carbs so that's pretty much how it is and then uh, quite a bit of uh, repetition here which one's this Oh, look at that. So we got some flank steak this week. That looks awesome. So, um, yeah, Fit Dish is doing, just making things great for me. Uh, more chicken, broccoli, cauliflower. So um, it's good for dieting. This isn't how I'd want to eat all year round, but when it comes to dieting, uh, this is perfect. All right, little supplement update. Uh, still taking all my staples, my proteolytic enzymes, which help you absorb more of your protein. Uh, I like to take a variety of carnitines as well. Carnitines are great for brain function as well as uh, fat loss and uh, energy. So when you're on low cows, anything that helps with energy is a beneficial supplement in my opinion. What's going on, sweetheart? You want some food? No, I don't want me. You have it on backwards? No, I don't want me. You want to wear it that way? It won't do much good if you get in an accident. This way, this way. Oh, oh, what are you doing? No sucky? You know, anybody who has kids knows that you've got to be adaptable. What's that? So, one of the reasons I wanted to start my own online fitness business was because I never wanted an alarm clock. I always wanted to have the luxury of waking up when I wanted to wake up, whether it was early or late. I never wanted someone to tell me when I had to be somewhere. I didn't like that idea. I hated the idea of somebody telling me if I had to work on weekends or when I could take a vacation. So, you know, these are some of the just little freedoms you have working from home and um, being able to spend time with my daughter. I got to get to the gym this morning, but we'll get there when we get there. 9 a.m. and we're heading into uh, Good Life Fitness here for a workout. This is probably the best gym in the hammer here. And um, I got my own home gym, but I like mixing it up, especially with the type of workout we're doing today, which is a glycogen depletion workout. We're doing 60 total sets. We're doing a dozen different exercises spread out through the side delts, rear delts, back and biceps. So it's pretty fun. And everything's five sets of 20 in circuit fashion. So um, just the goal here, guys, is just to contract hard, shorten the muscles, lengthen the muscle, and really deplete and squeeze out as much glycogen as possible. So uh, we're not supposed to be filming in here, but uh, we'll, 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 get, we'll get some footage here for you guys, and um, we'll go have a good one. This is a marathon-style workout, so uh, let's go and get pumped up.
60 sets. We did uh, 12 different exercises. The whole thing with glycogen depletion workouts, guys, is that there's one goal. We're not trying to build muscle. We're simply trying to squeeze out as much glycogen as possible. So it's really just a marathon session of sets, lots of angles to hit every possible um, muscle fiber. So we just squeeze out as much glycogen as possible. No post-workout shakes. Uh, just going to go home and have a whole food meal. I cut out all, all liquid nutrition uh, when I'm leading up to the final few weeks before a shoot. If you want to look solid, you got to eat solid food. So um, anyways, I think that's it. We're driving home in my brother's car here. I've been driving stick for, uh, since I have my Infiniti G37, so hopefully I don't stall her too much. I'll probably um, ride the brake. Oops, dang, that's bad. Like I said, hold it. All right, I'm finally getting comfortable driving the uh, stick here. So it's been a while. It's funny, I was just thinking of my car evolution. My first car was in 2003. I bought a 1992 Chevrolet Cavalier, $2,500. I bought it off my boss when I was a bricklayer. And then um, after I started making money as a personal trainer, I got into uh, Acura RSX, gorgeous black car. And then four years later, I got into an Infiniti G37, which was even more fun. I love that car, drove it for four years. And then I thought it'd be uh, good to buy a Porsche since I was married and having a kid uh, the year later. I bought that in cash. And um, I don't say that to impress you, but to impress upon you the importance of avoiding debt. Some of the best advice I got from a business mentor was to live below your means. That was one of the reasons I didn't move into the big city. I still live here in a small town. I pay for everything in cash. Anyways, that's my advice, young guys. Um, I know you wanna live large and stuff, but make sure you don't do it at the expense of living above your means. If you can't pay for it in cash, then um, wait, save, earn it. Avoid debt at all costs. Next meal up here post-workout because we're not doing liquid nutrition. We are doing white rice, cod, and a mix of cauliflower and broccoli. Seven ounces, one cup. I like something faster absorbing. I lied to you actually, it wasn't Fit Dish who uh, made all my meals. It was my BMW, my beautiful, marvelous wife. Although she just had a, a baby two weeks ago, she uh, still makes time to come into the kitchen and uh, cook all this by scratch, by hand, and to portion it all out and put it in Tupperware containers <laughs> and organize it. She is uh, mm -hmm. the number one amazing. wife in the world. <laughs> she is amazing. So uh, anyways, we're gonna warm this up. And uh, oh man, it's so good having your meals already pre-prepared. It saves so much time in the day. And uh, let me introduce you to introduce you guys to somebody. So last week, we welcomed John Luciano into the world. John Luciano shares uh, my father's name and uh, Flavia's father's name. For short, we call him John Luca. This guy, he could fall asleep in a shooting range. So um, we'll let him keep sleeping. Meal number three, flank steak, sweet potato, seven ounces, one cup, and one cup of broccoli. So uh, right after this, we're gonna head to the Wentworth Stairs. Not Wentworth, why do we say that? Shadok Stairs, 286 flights. We're gonna tear them up for the last workout of the day. Uh, before we do that, just thought I'd let you know, you know what my day typically looks like in here. I work till 4.30 and um, I got about an hour and a half left. I actually gotta jump on a call, like literally 30 seconds. So we'll do this quick. Um, a lot of you guys wanted to know um, what kind of books I read. As you know, I'm always trying to evolve. I'm always trying to become better. I don't know everything. The more I learn, the more I discover I actually don't know that much. <laughs> Great book I read this summer with a men's group is called Flesh. Uh, this, the tagline's called Learning to Be a Human Like Jesus. This was a really good book that uh, challenged a lot of things that I, that I was raised to believe and to rethink. Um, really, really, really good book. Um, another one of my favorite business books is Rework. I always mention this one. Uh, the reason it's sitting here is because it's uh, inspired me to write my hard copy book, which has been now submitted to my publisher. Every chapter in this book is like 200 or 200 words. There's no fluff, no BS. It's just what works. And that's what I wanted to um, put in my book. Uh, I wanted it to be an easy read, something you could read in one sitting. You could just open up a random page, read this section and get something out of it. So that's that was this book was the inspiration behind the format of my book.
Okay. Laugh, we're gonna go do this quick. We'll be back soon, all right? When you want to lead people, you really have one job as a coach. That job is to give them hope. My job as a coach is to inspire and to get you to believe that you can do it. Everything I do in my business is based around inspiring you. A lot of people have the tactics, they know the mechanics, they know the reps, the sets, the uh, all the different strategies, but none of those things help you if you have a setback, if you have a struggle, if you don't have courage to pull the trigger, if you don't have courage to take action and to stick at it and to get up when you fall down. constantly trying to figure out how do I help my people believe in themselves. If I can have even a moderate degree of success, there's no reason you can't either. Four years ago, the night before I got on a plane to fly to Punta Cana to propose to my wife, I came here to these same stairs. It was a cold, cold November night, pitch black, and I knocked out 10 flights in 50 minutes. At the time, I thought that was really good. Four years later, five years later, three weeks ago, I knocked these out in 46 minutes. So just up and down, 10 full flights, no stopping. Today, I did them in 40 minutes and 12 seconds, which is uh, six seconds slower than I did the same workout on Monday. So definitely improving my fitness. And uh, for me right now to get this fat off, I'm not worrying about losing muscle. That's the last worry right now. This is just the name of the game right now. I'm just charging through.